Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> a week since I filmed a video so today I'm gonna get ready with you guys and talk to you guys about what happened to me in 2022 I am also trying out some products from Letty London they sent me a few things so I'm gonna try them out for you guys so I already did my skincare so we're just gonna go straight into the makeup I'm like sitting awkwardly and I just hit my knee Starting off with primer. 2022 was like a year that was like kind of weird for me. Um, I wasn't really excited going into 2022 last year. I don't know, like it's not like it was terrible or anything, but it's like going into 2022, I wasn't like fully excited. You know what I mean? Like I didn't feel like it's gonna be the year, if that makes sense. By the way, I'm trying out the Letty London Sweet Lips Mask and Balm. This is in Cherry Kiss, I'm pretty sure. It's like tinted so after new year's straight off the bat is my 24th birthday so i turned 24 in 2022 and honestly my birthday weekend was like the greatest thing that i did i spent it with my friends and it was all right it wasn't like too special or anything but on my actual birthday it was okay like i didn't really enjoy my actual birthday because it was on a monday and like stuff didn't really go as planned how i wanted to also 24 was like an okay year for me like i didn't really again like, i didn't really feel like oh my god like this is my year type thing when i turned 24 i was so excited to turn 25 i don't know why like i always talk about like turning 25 even like when i just turned 24 i'm like oh my god i cannot wait to be 25 i'm turning 25 this year but yeah in february we found out that i was having a niece like we did a gender reveal it's up on my channel still like we did a gender reveal for my sister-in-law and for my older brother we were hoping for a boy not gonna lie we were hoping for a boy you know i couldn't imagine my niece like being a boy after all that also in february i did a bridal shoot that was like the first time i ever wore a wedding dress and honestly i felt like a princess during that shoot it was like the most amazing shoot that i've ever did then in march i went snowboarding for the first time with my friends that one is also really nice and on april my niece was born she's two months early for her due date so she was premature so literally she stayed at the hospital like the NICU specifically for like two months straight so i'll be at the hospital like every single day for two months straight but i don't regret it at all i love seeing her grow and like just seeing her like you know growing so in june she came home she was exactly like two months when she came home and then from then on you know like we would celebrate her every month and during the summer i didn't really do much modeling wise other than the fact that like the commercial that i did last year they repurposed it during summer i also got paid for doing that again and then june i think june or july i painted my room like i redecorated my room so i have a video about that as well i always wanted to like paint my room but like i couldn't do it during the winter so i decided to just do it during the summer so that like basically took my entire summer is like decorating my room and like repainting the entire house okay now i'm gonna try out Letty london sweet blush liquid blush I'm, like excited to try this i've been into like liquid blush lately moving into august august has been like the worst month of 2022 for me um <laughs> i went through a breakup uh during august not gonna talk about much about the breakup but all i'm gonna say is no one cheated no one did anything bad towards each other it was just not working but literally i'm in a better place now um in september a family member passed away so we were dealing with that as well but also in september i went back to school and pursue the degree that i actually want to pursue for a while now but i went back to school for accounting still working full-time still coaching I'm literally alone for like the past three months i've accomplished a lot in october there's really not much going on other than the fact that i broke my leg for the second time I did respray my knee in October when I when we had that tournament. Same tournament actually, which is quite funny. I was on crutches for like I would say for a week. I didn't stay on it for that long because I went back to my physio right away. Physio told me to just like leave the knee brace off, take the crutches off. You don't really need them. It's better for you to just work with your injury instead of like letting your body know that you need certain support. So I legit stopped using my crutches 
took off my knee brace but i wasn't doing leg workouts for a good month actually i stopped doing legs for a good month because of the injury in november i went to winnipeg with my friends that was the entire vlog before vlogmas started i think and the girls won cities again this is like their third time at winning cities like these group of girls and then we also went to provincials and december i legit had mental breakdowns because that's what happens to me when the finals comes in like i legit just had mental breakdown but that was because i was like in a lot of stress like dealing with school and work i legit would work and study at the same time because i was afraid to like fail my classes even though i only had like two classes and i was like thinking like how can i manage five classes before and now i can't even handle two and i'm doing four classes next semester i ended up passing all of my exams though i was worrying for nothing and last week which was like christmas half of my family got covid including my niece so we all been testing since then if we're positive or not i haven't got it it was just my niece my older brother and my sister-in-law that got covid they're all doing better now but i'm not gonna lie 2022 has taught me a lot like it was a really weird year for me for sure and i mean like for most people too like it's been a really weird year for them as well i discovered a lot about myself i've always loved myself and i've always been so confident with my own skin and like who i am as a person but like i didn't know that like i could be more confident i could grow more i could love myself more and that's what i have been realizing love my alone time i love doing things by myself and being alone is like literally the most powerful thing they could ever do oh i also forgot i got a couple of tattoos this year too oh yeah it was not the best year for me i would say but i literally feel like 2023 is gonna be my year okay now i'm trying out this clear brow thing it comes with a little spoolie but i yeah, know i'm very excited for 2023 to come around because i'm turning 25 and i'm excited to be 25 i don't know why but like i feel like after 25 i'll be like eh. I don't really want to like do anything but yeah, I'm celebrating my birthday with my friends people from out of town are coming in for my birthday and I'm just excited overall my birthday is gonna be on a weekday so I am doing like a whole birthday weekend type thing and yeah it's gonna be fun by the way you guys I don't pluck my eyebrows or anything so they look a little bit weird right now Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. Now let's talk about my goals for 2023. I want to appreciate other people more. I do appreciate people, but it's like I always been so hard on myself. So like I don't recognize people that are like genuinely like happy for me and all that. Like I've always been so hard on myself. Like literally this past weekend, I have a friend from my gym and I have a friend from high school that goes to my gym. And the guy that went to my high school really asked the girl and he was like how do you know alex and the girl was like oh you're just here at the gym and he goes like do you know she's a model and, you know like she did this and all that she was like oh really like that's cool and then she told me about it and then she was like you know how like this guy talks to you so proudly like he's so proud that he knows you and i was like touched by it because it was just like the sweetest thing ever and especially recently too like a lot of my friends from like out of town are coming in for the holidays and i just catch up with people and they all say the same things and like i was thinking to myself that i'm like i'd never heard these things from other people but that is because i'm so blinded with my own opinions of myself that like i don't recognize that other people appreciate me and like literally these people that like were saying good things about me i don't talk to them on a daily basis like i barely see them like i see them like once a year another goal that i have for the next year is to just be more social i've been more social like i legit have new friends i have met the most amazing people the last couple months and like they're literally the same person as me like i want to like surround myself with like good energy supportive people and i've always been really good at that like i like most of my friends are very supportive my family members are very very supportive as well i want to work on moving forward is to like be more confident with my capabilities because i was never insecure like looks or whatever i'm not insecure by any means and like compare myself to other girls like but like i've always compared myself like capability wise my eyebrows are not even this set is like higher than the other like i mean eyebrows are not supposed to be twins but like hello eh whatever i don't care but yeah i realized that i could do basically whatever i want but that's who i am growing up even it's like 
whatever goals I want in life, if I put my mind into it, I know eventually that I can do it. We're gonna continue that energy in 2023. Okay, so Letty London have this diamond bounce illuminating highlighter. It looks scary because like it's shiny as heck. Stuff it's taped. It's blinding. I'm gonna try it. I'm scared. This is straight up glitter. I'm gonna put it on my inner corner instead though. Yeah, that is a look instead. I also noticed, even my friends have noticed this about me, is that like, I have this confidence now that like, I give a vibe of like, no one can tear me down. And if I'm being honest, I am still the same person. I'm still the same person from when I was like, couple, like even last year. But there's like a different level of confidence that I have and I feel it in my heart. My brother's like cleaning in the washroom by the way, so sorry for the noise if there's anything like i have this like thing that like i don't even care what other people think of me or like how they see me as like if you don't like me then you don't like me you know i feel like it was the black hair that actually unleashed that confidence i hope i was making sense i don't think i am but i feel like you get the point moving on for lips i'm gonna try out the luddy london slay all day matte liquid lipstick and the plumped af sheer plumping gloss oh, i didn't really tell you guys but i'm getting ready yet so i am going out with my friends today is new year's eve eve for new year's eve i'm gonna hang out with my family so we're gonna go out today instead i'm gonna have dinner with a few people from my previous work like the people from mcdonald's i'm gonna have like dinner with them to catch up I haven't seen them in a while and then we're gonna go to a club i think we're gonna go to a club later on tonight But yeah, this is the final look. To lock everything in, I'm just gonna use Max Fix Plus. I am gonna fix my hair, but yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about my birthday in the next vlog. I will continue to film just in case whatever footage I get and put it in this vlog. So I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so I literally just showered, so I look quite greasy, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I also want to thank you guys for the amazing year and for those who have been subscribed to me for a bit now, I want to thank you guys so much. But yeah, I didn't really get to spend New Year's with the entire family because my brother and my sister-in-law still has COVID. So I think we're celebrating tomorrow or on January 2nd, not sure, depends on when they're better. But yeah, I cannot wait for what 2023 has to offer and I cannot wait. I'm actually very excited for this year and it's just starting. It's like literally 2 a.m. January 1st and I'm so excited for it already. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.